Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1297. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Oh my heavens, we are still trying to score Myers-Briggs test. Now, we have had a bunch of videos, and the latest comment came from John Dominguez at YouTube. Now, I want to back up a little bit and then work our way into this amazing formula that John shows us. Now, here's our goal. Here's our questions. Here's our answers. Remember, we can only have A or B. And we need to count down here. For E, we get one point if we get any of these scores. For F, one point for any of these. And then we need to add them up. Now, in 1296, guess what? We just did a helper column because we needed to join the question and the answer to compare it against, in essence, this lookup table. Here's what we did. We said count ifs of this whole range. And then in the criteria argument, we gave it or criteria. So as you recall, if I highlight count ifs because I gave it many conditions, when I hit F9, it spits out many answers. Now, to key to this is that there is only one here, but there's also only one here. There's never going to be many on either side. I'm never going to have a duplicate here or here. Escape, and I'm going to hit F2 again. Now, notice. I went ahead and put criteria range as this tall range here, but I could reverse that. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to copy this. And this will work because there are no duplicates on either side. So I'm going to highlight this, Control X, Delete. And the criteria range now is all of the items that should get a 1 for E, comma, Control V. And so I've switched it up, but it's not going to matter because there's never going to be duplicates on either side. Now let's go ahead and evaluate that array in F9. You notice, as compared to the formula we just did up here, now we get a bunch of answers for all of these items because these are the criteria. Remember, Control-Z, this is a function argument array operation we're doing right here. So we just gave it 32 different criteria. So of course, that instructs count ifs to spit out 32 answers. But guess what? Control Enter, that's going to give us the same thing. Now what John said is, guess what? We don't even need this helper column. So he said, hey, count ifs. Criteria range is this. And now, criteria range argument cannot handle array operations, but the criteria can do a function argument array operation. So he said, once you get to here, well, I need to simulate this helper column. And since there's an array operation, and I don't want to do Control-Shift-Enter, I'm going to use the index function. Now, the index function array argument are all the items you want to look up. But also, that argument can handle array operations without Control-Shift-Enter. So I'm going to click in the top of the question, Control-Shift-Down, now F4. And then I'm going to ampersand and get the answers. Control shift down arrow F4. Now I really want that whole column to be in the count ifs criteria argument. So comma, the way I get index to deliver this array operation without control shift enter. Well, I want all the rows, so I either put a 0, which tells index to give me all the rows. Remember, there's nothing but rows here, one column of rows, or you leave it omitted. Close parentheses. Now, if I click on criteria 1 and F9, you can see, sure enough, there is our helper column in a single cell, Control-Z. Now, I'm going to close parentheses. And if I F9, there's that array of 1s where I found this item over here in 0. I didn't find it. Control-Z, now I can simply put it into some product. And we're using some products because count ifs is doing a function argument array operation and spitting out multiple answers, right? So we want to take advantage of the array argument, the fact that it doesn't require Control Shift Enter. Now remember, over here we were trying to avoid Control Shift Enter for that ampersand, but once we get to the output from count ifs to avoid Control Shift Enter, we use some product. Control Enter and copy it over. Look at that. That is amazing. Now, we don't need that helper column, right? 
Control Shift Down Arrow Delete. Well, all of these are not going to work. But that formula works without that helper column. Now, Control Z, I'm going to leave that there as a trail for this. Watch this. I had no idea this would work. But I was thinking, well, wait a second. If criteria 1 can do a function argument array operation, maybe it can do this array operation and not have to use Control Shift Enter because of some product. I've never tried this before, so I am going to try that. I'm going to highlight this, Escape, come down here, Control-V, and I'm getting rid of the index. Index was just trying to deliver that whole row without Control-Shift-Enter. There it is, F9. There's our helper column, Control-Z. And what happens? Control-Enter. I did not use Control-Shift-Enter. I don't see any curly brackets. I copy this over there. And you got to be kidding me. That is simply amazing. So throughout all of these amazing solutions, boy, that, that's got to be the easiest, I think. Two columns concatenated together for our criteria. A lookup table in essence, just a relative cell reference. Count if spits out all those answers, F9, Control Z, and some products simply adds. All right, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to John. We'll see you next video. And you know, who knows, maybe we'll have another scoring Meyer Briggs video. All right, we'll see you next video.